Hello, today I want to show you my newest plugin Event Sounds that lets you add custom, join, chat and other sounds as server resource pack with these. You don't even need to know how resource packs work. Quick demonstration. An admin join the server. Admin, admin join sounds. Hi. Chat Hi. sounds. Alright, so there are two commands. One is sound list that basically just prints the available chat sounds and the other is event sound ES for short. Uh, if you click the resource pack prompt away, ES can be used to re-download or reopen the resource pack prompt. As admin you can uh, go here and type es reload to reload the config dash b rebuilds the server resource pack and if you put in the FTP server information you can uh, put in dash u to also upload the new resource pack. Now I just removed my FTP password from the config because I don't want you to see it so it failed but it works. Okay so the next thing I want to show to you is how to actually add sounds to your server. And it's pretty simple. You get the sound and you put it in this asset event sound directory as .ogg. How do you get an OGG? Uh, just drop it in Audacity or some other audio tool and save it as OGG. Before we get to the config, the repacker, the part of the plugin that generates the server resource pack, can take in a, a template resource pack. Let's say you got custom textures. The plugin will automatically merge these for you if you put the resource pack somewhere on your server as well. So this is my template resource pack, which has only the pack MC meter that contains that file. So that's the only thing you need to look at. If you even care, you don't need to specify it. Next part is the config. Ha! Huh, convenient, it's already open. So this is the part for the uh, resource pack generator. Here's the template. This is optional, you can remove it. Uh, if you want to be able to upload it with ES reload u, you have to specify these three. The first one is obviously the FTP server. Uh, and this is the path and file name on the FTP server. Uh, login and password, self-explanatory. All right. Now, if you want to add a sound, uh, the first uh, key here is the event. Right? So, in this case, we have chat sounds. There are options for each event, which are the cooldown, like if you want a client to only be able to trigger a chat sound every minute, you put a client cooldown. If you want a chat sound to only be played every 10 seconds globally, you put a global cooldown. There's also the option to delay a sound, but that's only really necessary for the join sound, because at the moment of joining, it could be too early for the joining player. So there's a small little delay. Normally you don't need it. Then we have sound groups. Every group has some conditions and some options, and then the sounds. The default conditions is one's permission, which requires the triggering player to have that permission. And there is user ID, which requires the player to have that user ID. The next value is the title that every sound group shares. That's pretty self-explanatory. It shows a title on screen. This can have two entries here, main title and subtitle, percent player percent gets replaced with a triggering player name, and it supports um, color code, so you can do stuff like dot .a and killing spree gets green. The next is title target, again pretty self-explanatory, um, it specifies who sees that title, possible values are none for nobody, source for the player that triggered the sound. Both is for PvP sounds, like the killstreak sounds, 
uh, specifying that only the attacker and the victim see it. Then there's world, which lets the whole world see or hear that sound event. And there's all for the whole server. Same for sound target, obviously. And then there's the last value, sounds, which is an array of sound files that should play when this group is triggered. Include the file extension here, because my plugin will check if the file actually exists. Right. For the PvP events, we also have this kills counter, which pretty obviously the amount of kills that a player has to reach to trigger that event for combo breaker. It's the minimum kill streak the victim needs to have before the sound can trigger. And for multi kill, it's again the amount of kills. The cooldown for multi kill actually specifies you have to kill the next uh, victim within. 10 seconds to get to the next stage and I get 10 seconds again to get to the next stage so um, after the first kill you have 10 seconds to kill the second player then 10 seconds to kill the third player and so forth and so on that's the only change there for death sounds we have the type option types are mob types or damage types uh, what values you can put there exactly are on the project page on all.spongepower.org if you leave it empty it means on any condition all right now i want to show you how to make an admin join sound for a specific player we just go here and these these names can be random as long as they're not under, uh, underscore options they can be really anything but to make it more readable i'll call it boss mark because it's my join sound they just have to be unique within the event. Um, and then I want permission, yes, join admin, because why not? User ID, which basically requires my Minecraft user ID. Then I want the same title, the same target, and the same sound is up here. So I just paste it. And there we go. We, if we want to be nice, we can put commas here. That's everything. The next step would be to reload and rebuild the config. And we're done. Ah yes, before I forget it. If you reload and upload the resource pack, the plugin automatically adjusts the resource pack SHA1 value in your server.properties file. This is required so uh, new clients that connect see that the resource pack changed and update it. Now, the server only reads the server properties file once on boot up. This is nothing my plugin or sponge has influence on, as far as I know. So, if you actually change your resource pack, you have to restart your server to get that update to your players. Alright, you can do anything with event signs. You can even add them to command blocks as you see them over there. How is that possible? With the play sound command. Because every sound you put in the configuration gets available with the sound ID es dot then the event which is this or let's go down here for example kill streak kill streak dot and then the sound name for example killing spree killing spree put a channel and a player killing spree there you go you don't have to use the events I described here. You can put a dummy event here um, and just create like a dialog one, put some sounds in here. This is the minimal config which is required so that you can use the play sound command so that the sounds get packed in your resource pack. You can do anything with it. You can put sounds 
on pressure plates, on buttons. Uh, if you do proximity things with command blocks, you can use uh, the sounds there. It's pretty flexible. It's pretty cool. It auto generates a resource pack. If you are a plugin developer and you want to add custom sounds to your plugin that get auto distributed through event sounds, that's pretty easy. Just put the OGG file in your plugin assets, create a uh, event sounds.json that gives that file a name or the set of files a name. Then go to your plugin and add this bit of code. This is a listener which notifies you that event sounds collected all sounds. Um, then you can get all your plugin sounds back through this line. And I wrote a simple getter here. Then in your target code where you want to use that sound, you simply get the sound type from that map with that name that you specified in the event sounds.json. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. See you at the next plugin I'll release.